Hey guys, this is Jose and this is the tutorial number two, variables. In the last tutorial we saw how to make an ellipse in the position of the mouse and the difference between void draw and void setup. Now we're going to see how to replace this information and use some variables to actually make some animation. So there are different kinds of variables. Um, there are integers, floats, strings and many others, but mainly we can classify them in two groups. We have numbers and letters. Um, so if we want to do a variable that it's whole numbers, we can use an integer with the code name int. Um, for instance, we can use x as 5. Um, we can also specify a um, decimal place number. For that we could use float. Um, then we could specify 3.14. So this is important. We have to decide whether we want to use whole numbers or decimal place numbers. Um, we want to use, in this case, floats to specify the information of the position of the sphere. So we're going to use x200 and y200 and replace this information that we had here in the ellipse by x and why. Um, notice that because we have specified these variables here in this before the setup, this becomes a global variable, so we can access it from anywhere in the script. We can use it in the information in the ellipse and we can actually draw this ellipse in the coordinate of this variable. The neat thing about variables is that we can now update variables over time. So we can say something like x equals x plus 5. So this will make the sphere move. This is happening because every frame processing is telling the variable to update, to add 5 units to its previous value. So this value here, we can consider it as t and make a variable of t. In this way, the idea of updating this uh, screen every frame becomes an animation.